Previously on Sam and Max. General Skunkape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? All we need to do is open an unstable transdimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. What does that dimensional destabilizer do exactly? It opens a temporary gateway between one dimension and the next, which can pull someone from the spirit world into the real world. Or from the real world to an interdimensional prison? Looks like Grandpa Stinky's stuff got mixed in with all of mine. What has he got in his pockets? His victory badge from Skunk Ape and Jackpot! A collectible shot glass from Mista Pizza! Mista Pizza, for the unforgettable taste of old nipples. Uh, isn't that supposed to be old Naples? They had to change it on account of truth and advertising laws. Aha! Uh -huh, a clue! Hmm, a vintage postcard from somebody who collects old, rare toys. Intergalactic warlord business must be in a real slump if Skunk Ape is having to hit the pawn shops. He's tracking down magic toys, Max, and he must have found something inside if he left Gruesome there to guard the door. Intrigue! Uh, welcome back to Sam and Max. We're gonna make this research assistant fall in the manhole. This looks entirely too safe. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> this goes deep into the fiery bowels of America's filthiest city. You've been listening to my inner bathroom narration again. Oh, I have to get the banana first. Uh huh, a banana peel. Hmm. How's this work? How's this gonna? Down with Skunk Ape! Aliens, go home! Hey! You guys really shouldn't be literate. Surprise! Oldest trick in the book. Alright, let's go in the pawn shop. A paddle ball toy? Skunk Ape must have tossed it out when he realized it wasn't magical. We've got to find what store he got it from. Oh yeah, we're following a trail to Skunk Ape. Skunk Ape. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from, but no address. Destination has been revealed on your map. Toy store. Toy store. How are we? Never gonna find Skunk Ape, Sam. All these streets look the same. Shut up, Max. They're completely different streets. It's Mole Man. General Skunkampi is sweating Mole Man. <laughs> uh, spoiler warning, Harry. Sheesh. Smash your cell phones. That's how he controls you. It's Mole Man. General Skunkampi is sweating. <laughs> All clues lead here, but no sign of Skunk Ape. Aha! New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. <laughs> but Skunk Ape will be back any second, little buddy. We'd better be ready for him. What are we gonna do once he shows up? Hmm, I don't know yet. It's locked. Skunk Ape's either waiting for this place to open, or coming back with his goons to bust the door down. Hmm. Just think, Max. One of these innocent-looking toys may hold the key to unlocking another terrifying psychic power. I bet it's the giraffe. I don't trust anything with a longer neck than mine. Bob's Toyses. The extra S is for sorry about the misspelled sign. I wonder where General Skunk went off to. Probably doing what everybody does their first time in New York. 
teaming up with loose women and going on a citywide search for magic psychic toys? There's a reason it's such a cliché, Sam. <laughs> now all kinds of bad guys are going to be after your eerie powers and your freakish body. Tell them to get in line. I've got all kinds of ladies trying to get a piece of this body. I already explained that, Max. Those ladies want you for cosmetics testing. <laughs> See you, Max. Keep in touch! Now let's do a future vision. In the future, all these toys are still here, unbought and unloved. That's kind of sad. It's their own fault for not being more fun. It's not a welfare state, Sam! Hmm. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance That's funny. Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. And now we're caught up to present. <laughs> and now we're caught up to Engines the present. To full power. Yes. Destroy the city. Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends. Because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. This, this game is so much the more serious. Has made his move. <laughs> the players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the, the penal zone. <laughs> This is a serious video game with high stakes. I never drink when I'm on a case. Sam and Max, don't tell me Skunkape wants you guys to be his love slaves too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. Did you lose your cell phone? Ugh. Hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes. Hi, Skunkabe. I see you. That's very clever. <sighs> He's been texting me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. Can you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? Ew, he wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. How is this Grandpa Stinky's fault? He's been going on and on about Skunkabe ever since he landed. That's the kind of gentleman you should get involved with. He's got a future. Ugh. Hmm. You gotta stay away from Skunk Ape. The guy's a total butthorn. You're telling me? I was just going to meet my... to meet a friend at the top of the Empire State Building. Then all of a sudden this giant gorilla shows up and carries me off to be his queen or something. Gee, you'd think a hyper-intelligent alien could've come up with something more original. <laughs> I'm not buying this super-advanced technology business if they haven't even mastered the technique of margaritas and unexpected car trouble. He just wants to reenact King Kong. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens! I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunk Ape's <laughs> got a lot of good points, too. Name one. Okay, this is... something for later. The spaceship. He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... And the keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore! Yoo-hoo! General Skunkape! 
<laughs> that let her out. We're all set, Max. Now we've just got to get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all. Oh yeah, we know exactly what to do now. We were just doing this. We just have to reenact the beginning of the episode. Well done, freelance police. Now you must place the homing beacon on Squincape's back to trap him in the, the beetle, beetle zone. zone. You're on it. Now light up those toys. The hell? Looking for these? What? Uh oh. Your future viewer has proven to be most enlightening. <laughs> Yeah, oh, this is not good. Is how I am going to destroy you. So, what was our plan B again? I believe you planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes? Luckily, I have my own. But I've still got the homing beacon. Exactly. <laughs> no! We're in the penal zone. Oh, this looks beautiful. Can you believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in the penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it! Jeez, what a jerk! We gotta get out of here, Max. Pronto! Yeah, maybe let's turn that off. <laughs> um. If I know my high tech futuristic explosive devices, this is an antimatter bomb that will destroy the entire penal zone and anyone inside it. And it's gonna go off at any second! Really, Sam? Any second? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but still best not to dawdle. Are you sure that future vision of yours works? We're supposed to be winning. Maybe they're just rose-tinted future vision glasses. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anything bad or overly deadly happen to you. You're my best friend, Sam. I know you'd take a bullet for me. Well, I'd at least be very rude to the guy who shot you. <laughs> Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny. Let's see what we got in our inventory. Skunk Ape must have dropped this paddle ball toy while he was searching the city. I'd better keep this. It could be an important clue in our case. Nah. Hmm. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? You're the one with the pockets. I still have my future vision. Future vision. Damn. Also, we could just call out of here. Yeah, let's just let's get out of here. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Gotcha! What? Welcome back, sirs. Uh, what just happened? I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept- Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police. And humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons! You failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed, exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. <laughs> and we blew up the penal zone with an antimatter bomb! Oh, dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. Well, shoot, we, uh... We no longer have the penal zone, we exploded it. <laughs> Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone has been destroyed. How are we going to stop Skunk Ape now? 
with the penal zone destroyed, we have no way to return him to prison. Unless you could make another penal zone somewhere else. I smell a convoluted plan coming on. With a side order of hand-waving technical nonsense. Extra crispy. Before I made the destabilizer, I was working on a dimensional rift generator. It doesn't open a gateway to another dimension. It actually creates another dimension. Only problem is, you'll have to find a nexus of ley lines somewhere for it to work. A place where the border between reality and nonsense has broken down. There happens to be one of those in the city, ma'am. It's at 1313 Straight Street. That address sounds familiar. That's our building. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, then. How does this rift generator work? You just plug it in and press the pedal. After that, it works just like the destabilizer. If Skunkape is wearing that homing beacon, he'll get pulled into the new dimension. The trick is finding enough power for it. Do you have any more of those power cores lying around? No, I never did get that back. But even so, it would have taken a hundred of those things to give enough power to a dimensional rift generator. It's over there, with the other inventions that are a deadly radiation hazard. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone is- You'll have to use Mama Bosco's rift generator to create a new penal zone. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. Hmm. I'm afraid it's the only way, sirs. Yeah, on the plus side, if it doesn't exist, think of how much money we'll save on rent! We don't pay rent, Max. <laughs> yeah, right. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Let's turn our building into another dimension. Dimension. We'll be careful with your rift generator, Mama Bosco. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkape. Still need to get the homing beacon on General Skunkape. It's gonna be the thing. I'm assuming if we teleport back onto the ship, Skunkape will just bring us... Hmm. Wait a minute. If we go back to the spaceship, what'll, what'll Skunkape do? Did you see that, my queen? Not only did I defeat Sam and Max, but I took care of the penal zone in one stroke. Unfortunate word choice. Sam and Max, you survived! Have you returned with a, how do I put this tactfully, better thought out plan to stop Skunkape? Our last plan would have worked fine if he hadn't changed the future. <laughs> yeah! How do I put this tactfully? Hmm, bite me. You'll need to get your personal belongings. Let me see if I can... Win. Oh, that hurts. Does everyone else taste butterscotch? Thanks, Brain. Now we just need a way to get this homing beacon on Skunk Ape's back without his noticing. I can't remember the name of my elementary school. <laughs> Are you okay, Brain? You're looking a little green, even for you. The stress of powering the higher functions of this ship is proving most detergent. Plus, I think this broth is starting to go bad. <laughs> How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape now? I don't know. Something about a homing beacon, wasn't it? Yeah, we have to get that on him. Keep it together, Brain. Okay. Bye now, Grandma. <laughs> All right. Um. How are we not going to do what we just did last time? Oh, I don't have rhinoplasty, that's why. Hmm. What? Don't you have planets to blow up or something? Thanks, Stinky. Hey, Brain, can you give us a hand here? Maybe cause a subtle yet stylish distraction? I grow weak, jamming tracks, and I fear <laughs> my time in this wharf is drawing to a clone. But if I can prevent but one villain from massaging another appointment book, my sacrifice is but a small, small bacon belt to pay. Ray, could you hurry it up? Max, show some respect for this noble creature's sacrifice. 
Could you hurry it up, please? Donut <laughs> button, Sam and Max. Donut button till we meet again in the plaid. Ah. Uh, oh, damn. Emergency. Engine failure. Emergency. No! Not in my moment of triumph! Sam and Max must somehow be responsible for this. Just I over blew his brain. Find them and destroy them! That was easy. That's it, little buddy. Let's go. Okay, then we, uh... Let's, uh, call Sybil's phone to go back to our building. What do we do now, Sam? Oh, this is gonna be so good. The power's out in the whole building. Okay, the camera pointed Whee! to the sewer. There they are! I don't know how to escape to the penal zone, Sam and Max, but you will never escape my disintegrator eyes. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh damn. Okay, we have to get a power source down here for that. Hey, either you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, maybe we can use the power in Stinky's diner? Well, no, the, the it has to be at our building. Oh, we're hmm. Oh. That did something. I can't plug a rift generator into that. Whee! Gee, I hope Sybil's stuff is okay. You live on our street, there's a good chance you're gonna get blown up. She should understand that by now, Sam. <laughs> okay, maybe there's something down there I can use now. Oh, wait, no, I have to go through Stinky's di- Oh, now I can... Now that the phone's over there, we can go over there. We can just go over there now. The mole graffiti. Ah, uh, I was hoping we'd teleport under an immovable pile of rubble and debris. Trapped for weeks, we'd be forced to resort to cannibalism just to survive. You keep coming up with creepy disaster scenarios that always end up with you eating me, Max. It's getting annoying. If you don't like it, then stop looking so damn tasty. Whee! <laughs> Throw you in the air. <laughs> it's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. Surely there'll be a power source over here. <laughs> Never gets old. Throwing him in the air. Oh yeah, this is where the game takes a turn. Oh! You guys keep it down! We're trying to save the planet here! Intruders! They've come to defile the toy box! The toy box? Kill them! No, wait, brother! Look! It is the dog and rabbit! Justice prophesied on Tablet 8, verse 32. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure you mean Tablet 6, verse 24. Heretic! Looks like another in a long line of wacky cults, Max. We're in so many prophecies, we should start charging royalties. You try and entertain the other wingnuts while I find a way to power this thing up. Hmm. Boiler controls. Well, there's an outlet. <laughs> ah, turn that off! Yeah, you're killing us here! Well, at least the boiler still works. Okay, there's a use for Mole Man sweat. The power's out in the whole building. Oh, damn. Okay. 
Well, we can still plug it in anyway. Well, it's plugged in, but there's not enough power to turn it on. Hmm. Look at Max. I've never been that good with hieroglyphics, but it looks like this tablet is all about us. Ooh! What does it say about me? Let's see. You're going to fight a monkey, get a bunch of magic weapons, merge with the collective unconsciousness to become one with infinity, and then destroy the universe. Uh, are you sure you're not reading it backwards? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, you're about to wrestle a crocodile, and I'm going to turn into an owl. I can hardly wait! <laughs> I'm tired of trying to read this thing. I'll wait for the movie. That's the most evil-looking toy chest I've ever seen. No doubt it'd unleash all kinds of horrors if we ever opened it. I'll get a crowbar! And I'll scrounge up some blasting caps. <laughs> no! You mustn't open it! That would give General Skunkape unimaginable power to destroy us all! They're right, pal. We'd better get rid of Skunk Ape first. <laughs> I guess we have to talk to these guys. Before, it sounded like you were expecting to see Max and me. Yes, you're coming with foretold in the sacred tablets and scrolls. And yea, the Devil Bunny, knowing not his true purpose, would unlock the mysteries of the toy box. Hey, Sam, Ooh. it likes me. You know what that means, Obadiah. It's time, time for, for the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. What's that toy box got to do with Max? He must be blessed with the gift! It will bestow great power to the one who can use its contents! Oh, and don't forget about the apocalypse! You guys seem awfully chipper about the end times. It's just nice to be proven right for once. Yeah, suck on that, Barry Diggory! Who's wearing a stupid-looking robe now? Hmm. Is there anything in your scriptures about how we can defeat Skunk Ape? Just that the box will show you the way. And then the Devil Bunny and his chubby sidekick... Hey! ...broke down the <laughs> wall and slew the betrayer of Mole Men. Broke down the wall? Who are you guys? We are the Boxists, the last keepers of the true way. Well, our brothers have succumbed to the siren song of secular America with its basalt-rich tunnels and specialty coffees. Only we remain to act as guardians of the box. What's with the creepy toy box? It is everything and nothing. The power infinite. Oh, well that makes sense. We have guarded and worshipped it from behind the shadowy veil of faith for generations. We love the box so much, we've prepared a song about it. <clears throat> we love the toy box, cause it's really great. Man, the musical numbers have really gone downhill since we've been on break. <laughs> Some of us had grown to believe it was just an allegory. I'm looking at you, Jebediah. But the veil has been lifted! There it is, before us, just as the tablets foretold! What's inside that toy box anyway? No yeah, can't we knows. get in there? No can we one get has in there? seen it for thousands of years. There are those who believe it contains toys. Oh right, like the creator of all things is really some fanciful box in the sky filled with magical toys. You'll have to excuse Obadiah. He's a fundamentalist. You guys stay crazy. Amen. How are we gonna get power? Can we fill this shot glass with sweat? I'd better keep this. It could be an in Okay. What is wrong with you? Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, it only turns it on for a second. Future vision? Ah, turn that off! Yeah, you're killing us here! Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, Max, want to come here and ground me? Okay. Max, what's wrong with you? Max? Little buddy? Well, that didn't sound good. Ah, oh, that was just one of the distant future ones. We don't have to worry about it for a while. Cut it out! We live in cool, dark places! 
Okay, what do I use the sweat for? Need to find a powerful source of energy to be able to use Mama Bosco's Rift Generator. Oh, what if, uh... What if I shoot that? No, that'd be a waste of bullets. No, that'd be a waste... I don't need to shoot anybody. It's enough that they know I have a gun. Hmm. I can't wait to get rid of that skunk ape jerk once and for all. But if he's the big bad guy, what will we do after we beat him? Well, we could let him out every few weeks and beat him up some more. I sure hope those psychic powers aren't a danger to the people you work on or around, Max. Whenever I use them, it feels like somebody's microwaving a radar gun near a high-tension wire in my skull. It's a good thing neither of us is legally, morally, or ethically allowed to reproduce. See you, Max. Keep in touch! Let's get out of here. Perhaps Stinky's Diner has something? Yeah, there's nothing here. Not sure what Bosco Tech would have, either. There's got to be something in this city with the unholy power we need to power up this invention. Unholy power? They're still there. <laughs> Where did, where did Max come from? <laughs> if we call the COPS, where does that go? <laughs> okay, that's just my phone. Yeah, this is gonna be- this is probably gonna be a shorter video than the last two. <laughs> There's got to be something in this city with the unholy power we need to power up this invention. You already know. Looking up a walk through, yeah. Looking up a walk through, yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, there was something I missed in this cave. The workers left some of the cable exposed when they were busy not fixing the power in this dump. <laughs> Can plug it into the toy box. Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, Max, want to come here and ground me? You're pushing 40 in dog years, you're not a very good detective, and it looks like you've put on weight. Thanks. That should do it. <laughs> now I should be able to turn on that rift transmogrifier, or whatever. Oh, the box is powering. The box is power. <laughs> the box is power. That's a go. Get in the penal zone, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Sam and Max. But once again, I am too strong. And you have only seconds before... Wait, it can't be. The Devil's Toy Box? Devil's Toy Box? That's right, Jack, and it's ours. Yeah, go find your own toys. Ha ha ha! Perfect. You have led me right to the greatest prize of all. Soon your bothersome dimensional rift will close, and I will take the toy box and the one who can control it. Yes. Think of something quick, Sam. I don't like the way he's undressing me with his eyes. Hmm. Give up, Skunk Ape. You're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest? By an Earth Dog and his pitiful inventions? I have more strength in one hand than in all the inventions of your planet's greatest scientists. Oh, we can make him sweat. We can make the Mole Man sweat. I mean, out! We live in cool, dark places! Just stop fighting so- Give up now! 
when I'm so close to having all of the toys. Nonsense. Hmm, how do we get them? How do we get that over? As soon as this case is over, I'm getting a gun with more gorilla stopping power. <laughs> um, sweat more. Well, at least the boiler still works. How, how do the sweat? How do I? How do I get the sweat? How do I get the sweat? Keep away from the big monkey. Hmm. Ah, you're killing us. Keep away from the big monkey. Okay, you're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest. I have. Finally, the paddle Pretty ball. Pretty sloppy of you to miss this toy, Skunk Ape. It's the best one yet. Nonsense. It's worthless. Are you kidding me? It's just dripping with psychic power. Right, Max? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, that one gives me the power to, uh, uh, automatically calculate the proper tip at restaurants. Nice one, Bonehead. It's a very practical power, Sam. They can't all be showstoppers. <laughs> <laughs> no! Keep away from the big monkey. No fair! Give it! Yeah, that's the money shot. And so our hero that was awesome. the world once again. Our villain undone by his own greed. It would seem a fitting conclusion. But this is not the end. Oh no, but merely a beginning. The overture, if you will, of a five-part symphony of mayhem that will blow your ever-loving mind. What is this mysterious toy box with its bizarre connection to Max? Is General Skunkarpe truly defeated? Will Sam ever find true love? Will Max be able to control his emerging powers? Or are his ominous visions of the future a sign of tragedy to come? I'll see you in the coming chapters to answer all of these questions, and more. But for now, I leave you with this chilling conclusion. Ouch! Sucked right through three floors in a septic tank. There goes Got our security deposit! I wonder if our building is zoned to act as an interdimensional prison. Sam? What are they looking at? Holy heaping helpings of Herodotus on base with Marshall Stacks and a Wawa pedal. Is that... us? The Tomb of Samun Mak. Penalizer. Great stuff. This is good. This is going to be this is going to be a great remaster. I remember episode two gets real tricky because you're kind of like because you're kind of traveling through time a little bit. Yeah, episode uh, episode two is the episode right before all the iconic stuff happens. I mean, it's all iconic, but really. Bam. Ba -ba -da -da -da. So I'm thinking of trying something new with this channel. Usually when I start recording for these games, I record and edit the whole Let's Play before putting it out. But since this is episodic... Remember that final episode I played of Until Then, where I thought it was New Game Plus, but it's actually I'm in a time loop and things will be different? I'm thinking of going back to that and playing more of that. I might have two consecutive LPs going on the channel. I think that might be fun to try. A little bit of this game, a little bit of Until Then, and just like sprinkle that on the channel, like back and forth. I feel like that would be fun. So yeah, the next video on my channel will probably be 
returning to Until Then. I didn't spoil myself on what happens in the rest of that game, I just saw that there was more of it. And now I'm, I'm curious to see what more there is. But yeah, I, I'll be back to play episode 2 of this, but Until Then, I'll be playing Until Then. <laughs> and also, the chapters in Until Then are way shorter. So I'll be like, I'll be back to Sam and Max in no time. Alright, bye bye